Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Um, my battery is going to die on my camera because I didn't charge it. So hopefully I can get through this before it dies. I cannot believe that I am even going to say this or anything. Like, I can't believe that I'm filming this video right now. But so many of you all are probably sitting there being like, haha, we told you. We told you. <laughs> anyway, let me just get into it because I really don't even know. I'm going to take a pregnancy test today and I, and we're done having kids like we decided we are finished having kids we're happy with our three boys this is what we want and I had told you guys before in videos and on Instagram that like you know we're not doing anything permanent like Alex isn't getting you know snipped I'm not getting my tubes taken out they used to say tubes tied apparently now they actually just take your tubes out so like no I wasn't gonna have like a big surgery done I'm not taking birth control I will not put that in my body anymore ever um, for you know personal reasons I don't want it so what else do we do well I'm like we're just gonna do natural family planning or you know trying not to plan for more um, plenty of people do it like it can work you know you have to follow your cycle and you have to be you know you have to everything has to kind of align and you have to kind of know what you're doing and track your period and track your ovulation and all of that well you guys know if you followed me for a while I always had super irregular periods and ever since I got pregnant with Trey like right before I got pregnant with Trey I started doing and I do have PCOS um, and I've always had very heavy periods that would come every like few months like never knew when I was gonna get my period It would always be a surprise and they were always very heavy Then um, before I got pregnant with Trey, I started doing um, keto which I have no idea if it helped or not, but I seem to think it probably did because all of the sudden my cycle kind of regulated itself and I was able to get pregnant naturally um, I got pregnant naturally twice. I had a miscarriage with the first one and then I got pregnant again and had Trey, okay? With my two first boys, I did have to take Clomid, which is a fertility drug to get pregnant with them because I wasn't ovulating on my own, but that worked itself out eventually. Um, and, you know, here I am. Now I am getting regular periods. My cycle seemed to kind of fix itself and I get a period every month and I ovulate and all of that, okay? So it's now easier for me to get pregnant. Whereas before, like when I was trying to get pregnant with my first two sons, it was very difficult for me to get pregnant without taking Clomid. So now it's something that I really have to actively watch out for. And like, that's why I have to track my cycle and all of that since we're not getting anything permanent done, like surgery wise or procedure wise, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, <laughs> there are a few signs you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm not pregnant, but it's weird. Okay, so let me get my phone out. I'm in my car because, well, I'm going to go run an errand. I've thrown up to the grocery store, but also I didn't want to be in my house. I've talked to Alex about this, but literally no one else, and I don't want my kids hearing me. They're in the house right now. I don't want them hearing me talk about this, so that's why I, like, decided to get in the car. I know a lot of you don't like me filming in the car because I always film in my car. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I have, like, I put in my notes because so I started tracking my period when I got my period back a few months ago. Um, after I finished breastfeeding, I got my period back like a month later. So here it is. Okay. So I had my, I got my period in like May, but I didn't write it down. I forgot. Then I got my period again in June. So my period started on the 21st of June and it lasted till the 25th of June. So it was like four days. Okay. And then I got my period again on the 14th of July. That makes no sense, right? That's way too early. So I remember, like, I, and if you're a guy, you probably don't want to watch this. Like, I'm going to kind of get a little detailed with this for my girls and my mamas out there who are interested in knowing. <laughs> um, but I, like, had to use the bathroom, so I peed. I, like, wiped, and there was, like, a little bit of red, like, pretty much, like, spotting, like, super light, right? And I was like, oh, I was like, I'm getting my period again. I feel like I just got my period. Like, what is going on? I was like, that's weird. I didn't think anything of it, okay? Throughout the day, it, like, never really got heavier. It was just super light, and only really when I wiped, there was, like, a little bit on the toilet paper. And 
I was like, that's weird. I was like, I guess it'll be heavier tomorrow. You know, this is the beginning of it. Well, then the next day it didn't get any heavier. It was the same. This happened for three days where it never got heavier. So it never felt like it was a full on period. It was just spotting pretty much like very light spotting. Okay. So you probably know where I'm going with this. I started thinking on like the second day. I'm like, um, could this be implementation bleeding? So then I'm like Googling everything and like I told Alex, I was like, what is going on? This is weird. And um, I took a pregnancy test at that point because I was like, let me just like I Googled it. And I was like, you could try and take a pregnancy test. It might come back positive, but it was negative. And then I'm like, OK, well, maybe it's too soon. Maybe this is just a very light period. Maybe it's nothing. I'm trying to think of everything. And I'm like, this just doesn't add up because that's like what, three weeks later? And it never turned into a full period. And after three days, the spotting kind of just went away. And I was like, that was really weird. Don't know what that was. And I never really had any other symptoms like, you know, nausea or like when your boobs are like tender, like none of that. So I'm like thinking, okay, that was weird. Maybe it was just like a super light period, whatever. And like I logged it in. Well, <laughs> it's now the 24th of July. So it's been over a full month now since I got my last like full period. So I'm thinking if, if I'm going to get my period, like a real period, then I should be getting it soon and it hasn't come yet. And I'm thinking if I'm going to test, I should test now. Like it would definitely, if I'm pregnant at this point, it keeps overheating and shutting off. So I'm just going to hold it now instead of putting it on my dashboard. But um, what was I saying? No other symptoms other than I've been super tired, which is always a symptom for me early on. Like I'm always just exhausted and I felt very exhausted, but I don't know. I mean, that could also be so many other things as well. Um, so I feel like, oh my God, I feel like if I'm going to test, I should just test today and I should get whether it's positive or negative. I don't know you guys. It's super weird that I got this really random light spotting thing three weeks after I had my period. It's weird for me. I know I had ovulated like a week before then because I could just tell because I'm like tracking all of that. So I know I had ovulated a week before then. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and go inside. Well, first I have to go run to the grocery store. But when I get back, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to take the pregnancy. <laughs> I'm like can't even talk I'm gonna take the test I'll let you guys know what it is and honestly like if I'm pregnant you guys I know that like we only want you know we don't want any more babies but if I'm pregnant it'll be a blessing obviously every single baby is a blessing like we will be thrilled we will be so happy to add another little one but like we're not planning it like we're good <laughs> we're good with the three boys like you know we're not trying to have another baby so it would be a shock and it would be a big surprise but we would obviously be very happy. I'm like talking in circles at this point. I need to just go ahead and how am I gonna go to the grocery store right now? I feel like I just wanna go in and take the test. Maybe I'll just go take the test and then go to the grocery store. I'm about to look. I took it. I waited like over five minutes at this point. Um, I need to be quiet because the boys are stalking me. They're like, they follow me into every single room I go in. Um, but I think right now they're watching TV on the couch. So I'm just going to go ahead and look. Psych, I think it's negative. <laughs> uh, I think it is. Oh, so I always see, I always get line eyes with these tests because I look so hard that like they start appearing. Like I feel like, no, I think that's a shadow. I'll show you guys, even though the camera's not going to really pick up anything. So, pretty sure that's a negative. 
And I feel like at this point, it would definitely be positive, so. <sighs> okay. Just have to be like extra, extra careful going forward. And I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, end the vlog because this was just like a random, I wasn't even going to vlog today. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just check it out, share this with you guys and <laughs> And we'll see. And plus, like, if it was positive, then I, I did want to make sure that I um, documented that. And so I wanted to do that just in case. But it's negative and And yeah. And I don't know what that was. If you have any ideas of what that random three-day, like, super light spotting could have been three weeks after my period, let me know. Because I... Was that my period? Was it not? Am I supposed to get it now? It's, like, very strange. Um... So let me know in the comments below if anything like that has happened to you. Um, and if I don't get my period within the next week or two, I'm probably going to take another test, honestly. But I don't think I am because I feel like that would have been positive. So anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.